My name is Bob Bloyer, uh, Louie and Darlene's oldest boy. I grew up on the hill south of town here. Uh, one of the things I remember about Blue River is uh, coming to the community building for lunch every day from school and for Phi Ed in the wintertime and basketball games, you know, high school ball games and uh, dances here, Christmas uh, pageants up on the stage. Yeah, right, right back up here. Uh, it's part of it, uh, part of my history. It's I remember that. Who were the cooks? Do you remember the names of the cooks when you were here? Um, Camilla Powers. Yeah. Mrs. Sorge. Yeah. Marie. Marie. Um, those are the two main ones. Okay. But it was a hot dish, and you just like being at home. It was great. They knew everybody, and everybody knew them. And you ate in the basement, right? You yeah, the, yeah. The basement. Uh, meals were in the basement. You know, and the boys and girls locker room on each side. And the uh, basketball court had one bench along each side for you know the players and and a few fans who wanted to get real close to the action. Otherwise, it was the stage and the balcony. Yeah. Yeah. Every day we made the trek up here. Rain or shine, snow. <laughs> and then your your gym classes were here as well. In uh, in climate weather, yeah. Okay. Yep. And yep. who was the Fayed? What grades would you have had Fayed here? One through eight. When I was part of the last class to graduate eighth, well, eighth grade here and freshman at Riverdale, so I uh, was here for eight years. Yeah. So Ike Eisenhart, would you have had him for Fayed? If he was teaching in Blue River, yes, otherwise Riverdale. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the 1966 River Log, he was on staff. I don't know if he okay. was on before then. That but would have been, yeah. Yes. The 67 is when we, was the last class that graduated here. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So. Okay, nice, thank you.